years ago to this time, when they were 17 years of age, Silak, Charibis, and Elliot discovered that they were special with superhuman powers. How they got their powers is not known, but one truth between the triplet is that Charibis is the main source of their powers, which was shared equally. They were unstoppable, invincible, and untouchable, which in fact resulted into uncalculated, unwarranted mistakes and error that cost human lives. Now, to Sila and Charibis, they see these mistakes as a learning curve, and moreover, they were using their powers and abilities for good. But as for Elliot, he couldn't stomach these antics. It was not for him. Inasmuch as they were brothers and have a special brotherly bond, plus they know each other too well, Elliot still feels like an outsider, like he doesn't belong. And what worried him the most was the imbalance between their powers, and this became an albatross for him. Sick of playing the hero, Elliot absconded and left his brothers and became a priest, helping the needy and the helpless as best as he can. Even though, as a priest, he still sees his powers and abilities as a burden and a curse. As he prayed to God to give him a sign, but the voice that answered him was his brother, Charibis, alias the survivor, telling him that their brother Sila is dead, in which Elliot replied him that he knows and that he felt the surge of power that was acquired and bequeathed to him. But most importantly, he asked Charibis, alias the survivor, what he was doing here. As the survivor flew towards an abandoned wrecked building where some of the priest church members were, whom were terrified of seeing him as Elliot told him to leave for his presence scares them. Then the survivor told the people not to be scared of him, that he was Elliot's brother and wanted to know what in the blue hell has he been telling his church members about him. As Elliot let him know that they know of his conflict between him and the Plutonian, for it caused a lot of destruction and it caused a lot of lives. So the survivor asked him if he told his church members about his powers and that he could have helped in stopping the Plutonian and his destructive ways, that the three of them could have stopped him together. But he decided to cowardly shed his responsibilities and hide behind some higher power as an excuse, in which Elliot let him know that he works in faith and not by might. So the survivor let his brother know that it will be better if he has more faith in him. Then Elliot told him that these powers of theirs is corruptible and that the Plutonian proves his point. Then in spite and in a way to lure Elliot into a fight, the survivor asked him to fight for his god, challenging him to a duel. But Elliot refused to fight his brother, for he understood the reason the survivor paid him a visit, and that was to kill him and consume his powers. Bertonor was depressed and reeled with guilt, plus she believes that she doesn't deserve to live because she still believes it was her fault the world is in chaos. She wanted to end it all by killing herself as she shot at a wrecked skyscraper to land on her. But the Plutonian was fast enough to save her from the wreckage. For she wondered how come the Plutonian is able to forgive her for her betrayal. But those she cares about wouldn't even look at her as she understood that the Plutonian wouldn't let any harm come to her. So she tried to shoot herself in the temple but the Plutonian quickly stopped it by using his hand to block the bullets in which he wondered why she is adamant in ending her life. While his super allies were waiting and expecting instructions from him, as Carter showed her disgust and disappointment in seeing the Plutonian babysitting Bertinor. For Carter wanted him to show some leadership qualities and she was still asking what the Plutonian wants. But one thing should be known, when the Plutonian formed the paradigm, he didn't form the group to lead a couple of superhumans. It was mainly to make people not to be scared of them. Moreover, Cubit was the one who was kind of the leader of Paradigm by default and that's because they look up to Cubit apart from the Plutonian back then. So in a bit of a worry, he flew to the deepest part of the sea to think and meditate. Now the acting president Ulrich is beginning to realize that being the head of the military is far more different in being a leader of a country for in both ways he was in charge and people's lives depends on his decision making, especially when it comes to their safety and their future. For unity to be back on the table, the acting president agreed with the representatives from the Eastern Hemisphere who are the Chinese Japan Anti-Plutonian Coalition by activating the End Game Protocol in which will wipe out one third of the population on Earth. He didn't like it but he had no choice for the country financially was almost bankrupt and if the country doesn't get support financially to help rebuild the infrastructure, the economy will crash, the country will collapse 
collapse into chaos and it is known that the country is on its last leg. Not very comfortable with this decision, the acting president together with the representatives of the Chinese-Japan anti-Plutonian coalition from the Eastern Hemisphere, Mr. Sin Chan and Mr. Nitoku activated the Endgame Protocol together. Alone in the underground and observing the Endgame Protocol in an airtight underground basement, Hui Yang was secretly radio contacting a friend in America knowing well that his bosses will frown at it. But in all sincerity, he was the only person assigned to the basement to observe the Endgame Protocol. Before he knew what was happening, he could read on the computer that the Endgame Protocol had been activated without a warning from his bosses. As the alert was blaring loud, he realized that the airtight facility's electromagnetic locks had been released, which means radiation is being released into the air. And before Kuyang could make a run for it, it was too late as he fell to his death. The ground of the facility shook. It was a tremor as an explosion erupted from beneath the facility, causing a lot of destruction as big giant hands came out beneath the destroyed facility. Thank you.